Kentucky. Mr. DeFazio for an opening statement. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity. Uh, I, brought, uh, I brought a photo. Uh, I'll explain it, and then I'll incorporate it in my speech. Uh, this would be uh, a python. This would be the tail of an alligator where it burst through uh, the python, uh, which uh, attempted uh, to devour it. Uh, this was, of course, in the uh, Florida uh, Everglades. So thanks. That's good. Uh, the uh, you know, invasive species pose uh, enormous threats uh, to our economy and native wildlife. Some have been inadvertently introduced uh, through ballast water uh, or cargo, uh, and we need to take steps to deal with that. Some have been smuggled in, and um, we need to have strong uh, sanctions uh, on those folks. But some have actually been deliberately uh, imported for commercial purposes. Now, this, uh, this python, the, which is descended from a python that was introduced uh, for the pet trade, uh, you know, was only 13 feet long, only. Uh, they actually grow uh, to uh, 20 uh, and weigh over 200 pounds, and perhaps one that was that large would have been able to digest uh, the alligator. Uh, you know, the alligator uh, was an endangered species. We brought it back. Uh, from, uh, from uh, endangered status, and uh, now uh, it's threatened by a non-native uh, invasive species that was deliberately uh, imported into the United States. Uh, the uh, snakes also eat wood storks, uh, Key Largo wood rats, and many other species. Uh, if you could get a hold of the last Florida panther, it might eat that too. So, uh, you know, we are spending now millions of dollars a year in the Everglades uh, to try and eradicate this non-native predator. Uh, last year, Fish and Wildlife took action to add Burmese pythons and three similar species uh, of large constrictor snakes to the Lacey's Act of injurious, injurious uh, wildlife. Uh, you know, but unfortunately, the Burmese pythons are already established uh, a large breeding population in the Everglades. If they could have acted more quickly or sooner, uh, perhaps we could have uh, prevented uh, this problem. The uh, proposed rule uh, is the agency's attempt uh, to make to take a proactive uh, approach, a more prompt approach, uh, to deal with potentially injurious uh, species uh, under the Lacey Act. Uh, you know, and uh, environmental concerns aside, you don't need to look much further than our neighbor to the north in Canada, where uh, last summer an African python, uh, one of four species listed by the services last year, escaped from its cage and killed two young boys uh, in their sleep. These are pets. Uh, you know, when public safety and massive damage to the environment are at stake for all, uh, the benefits of taking a precautionary approach greatly outweigh the costs incurred uh, by a few. In the case of the four constrictor snakes, the loss of estimated uh, sales was uh, between three and seven point uh, six million dollars, uh, but the costs that are going to be borne by the taxpayers of the United States uh, will probably ultimately total tens or hundreds uh, of millions of dollars to try and eradicate uh, this python. Uh, in the Northwest, uh, we have a particular concern about the spread of uh, quagga mussels, uh, and we see this uh, proposed rule as a potential tool for taking action. Uh, to prevent the spread of that by uh, imposing more stringent uh, measures and quarantines uh, from areas that are infected. Uh, you know, and I look forward uh, to hearing more today about how the service intends to use a categorical exclusion to stop biological invasions. Um, you know, I am, I am not uh, totally, uh, you know, hostile to the concerns raised uh, by the industry folks, and, and I will propose later, I, I think, perhaps a, a way that uh, we might uh, we might deal with some of their concerns, but still give uh, this tool uh, for potentially injurious uh, wildlife uh, to the agency. Gentleman yields back. Um, and before we begin, uh, just to make an announcement.